Hello everyone. I just want to show you a quick uh, tutorial on how to use this very basic template. So <clears throat> Christmas tree templates seem to be extremely popular and I thought it might be usable for people if they had a very basic one where they could just then add their own text to it and their own um, and their own clip art, although I did provide the little star at the top. Basically, this is a really basic template and I've given you two options, okay? You've got your star on top, you could shut it off. You have clipping masks, all right? If you prefer to use clipping masks, use them. Here they are, okay? Um, there they are in the order that you would use them. You would just go in, place, file, place embedded, find yourself a, um, a photo, put it in, obviously that's way too big, so I'm going to layer it right on top of the button. Now, remember, of course, this is great for inside the box composites. I just don't happen to have a picture in front of me, so I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to right click on my picture, create clipping mask, and boom, she's in. Okay, and I would just do the same thing for all of them. You have um, a border effect already around it. You can see it says stroke effect. If I shut that off, you would see that um, the stroke would be gone. Okay, um, so you can use the clipping masks or you can choose to turn off the clipping mask and just use the tree grid that was given to you right there. Okay, um, some people just prefer a grid and basically then you would go to the grid, file, place embedded. Again, let's find a picture that we could put in. All right, but this time you wouldn't put the picture on top. You'd put it underneath the grid, just like you would do with a, a uh, box photo. And of course, if you have any hanging bits hanging over, okay, you can then take your marquee tool Take your rectangular marquee tool and I would just create a rectangular marquee over this, okay? And make sure you're on that layer of that picture and click the mask and that'll create a black mask and it'll mask off the rest of the image, okay? So now you didn't lose the image in case you want to, I press the V button to get to the move tool in case you want to move that image around. You would have to, of course, fix the mask, but you didn't cut the, you didn't cut the, some people would just cut it out. I don't cut it out. I just mask it. It's just easier. And that's how you would use this under a, um, under a grid. And uh, so basically, let's move this over because now I lost some of it. Oops. I can see it's peeking through a little bit. Okay. And that's basically exactly how you do it with box images as well. Um, gave you two options. Now I want to show you one more small thing that you could do. Okay, let's say you decide you're going to go with the clipping mask option, but you want the background color to be different. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn off the grid. You're going to add a new layer. Okay, make sure the new layer is underneath the clipping masks and you're going to fill it, edit, fill. Everybody's got a different way of doing it. Maybe you can just add a fill layer. Um, it's just the way I do it. Um, maybe I want it to be red. Okay. I filled my layer with red and now I can have the red background. All right. And I, you really can only do this with clipping masks pretty much. Um, so, you know, it's easier to do the clip. And the other option with the clipping masks that is nice is if you just click right on the clipping mask file. Okay. See all, they're all in there. Command T or control T depending on what you're using, you get your control. You can take your clipping masks all in one shot and maybe make them smaller because maybe you want this to be a smaller tree and you want to add some text to your template. Maybe you want to then just write that a, whoops. Uh, and I even have, you know, maybe make, really make it into a card of a 
Okay. And it's really just completely up to you how you want to do it. Um, this gives you a lot more options with the clipping mask to resize your template. Um, I just wanted to show it to you. And um, that's really it. So thanks for watching. Bye.